Hello there, Simon Trace, he also be my copy Simon Trace, and welcome to Manchester London Road Station. If that was still late, because we're actually at Manchester Piccadilly Station. Today's video, we are going on to the Woodhead route, visiting four railway stations between Ashbury's and Guy Bridge, which are the following Ashbury's, Guy Bridge, Fairfield, Gorton. Now, the reason I'm doing these four stations is it's right there. That's the Transpair Express Nova 1 and Manchester Piccadilly Station. And we're going to be filming some Transpair Express diverts on the Woodhead route because Manchester Victoria to Rochdale is shut. So our train should be arriving to take us to our first station, Ashbury's. So I'm just pulling out of Manchester Piccadilly now on board this Class 323 EMU, also known as a heavy unit. As you can see on the window here, there is dots because it is raining outside. Now, all the stations I've visited this afternoon, all four of them, will be rain. I think it will get worse at Gorton. But I have come repaired though, because I have got a hat with me to keep me hair dry. It won't keep me dry. Anyway, let's carry on our journey. After departing Manchester Piccadilly Station, we are passing Ardwick Station. This is also a Northern Ferry Station and it has two platforms. And I've never, ever filmed at this location. Hopefully one day, we film here. I did not film that for class 323 out of Ashbury Station because someone wanted to ask about the tickets and apparently there's no ticket machine at Ashbury Station. But anyway, this is Ashbury Station, it's a Northern Trains operated station and it has two platforms and plenty of trains passing through as well. But unfortunately it is still pouring down rain, that's why I'm wearing the hat. It's now time for the station's history of Ashbury Station. Ashbury Station owned by the Sheffield, Ashton and the Lime and Manchester Road in July 1855. In November 1855, the station was relayed to Ashbury's for open shore. However, in August 1856, it was relayed to Ashbury's for Bellevue. 
This station is also the closest station to Manchester City Football Club and the three letter station code is A B Y. Hey Carol, what's the weather report now? Stop raining. Which is surprising because it was supposed to be raining all day. waiting shelter at a railway station. There is. Bearway also at Ashbury Station. Unfortunately you got to fill on this side. The side towards Guy Bridge because on the other side it's on a curve so you won't be able to see anything coming. This side is your best chance of seeing trains coming from Manchester Piccadilly or coming from Guy Bridge to see them coming so you can film them. So as Carol says, it stops raining, but we are going to leave Ashbury's pretty soon because we are going to head to Guy Bridge. Now Guy Bridge will be our turnaround point, but it's also our next station. Because there is two intermediate stations between Ashbury's and Guy Bridge, which is Gorton and Fairfield. But I'm going to do that all the way back because you're going to see why when I do those two stations. But we're also going to be on Rose Hill Bar to Manchester Piccadilly services on the way back as well. So we're basically going to be on the sprinter trains. So our train should be arriving now at 1307 to take us to Guy Bridge, which is one of my favourite locations on the Woodhead route. Now just east of Guy Bridge Station there's a junction down the line here. There's a line that goes off to the left that goes towards Staley Bridge, which the Transpal Expresses that we're getting today are using. And the line straight ahead takes you towards High North and Dinton. And we're not doing that trip again. But this is Guy Bridge Railway Station, one of my favourite stations on the Waterhead route. It's Northern Trains operated and yes, it has two platforms. But this is also where they're changing from where we place a bus service to Ashton under the line and Staley Bridge. Because Manchester Victoria towards Ashton under the line Rochdale is closed for engineering works. So and this is the reason why I've actually doing the Woods Head line because when they announced this a few months ago, I wanted to do some diverts on this line. <laughs> Now time for the station history of Guybridge Station. Guybridge Station owned by the Sheffield, Ashton under Lyme and Manchester Railway on the 11th of November 1841. However, when it was opened it was named Ashton and Hooley Hill. In February 1842 it was renamed to Ashton, 14th of July 1845 it was renamed to Guy Bridge and the three letter station code for Guy Bridge is G-U-I.
behind me here is the Woodhead Railway Heritage Group banner and on this banner is a class 76 electric locomotive and these electric locomotives used to run services out of Manchester London Road which is now Manchester Piccadilly towards Sheffield Victoria going through Hadfield and Penniston. Now the line was electrified in 1953 and these class 86 electric locomotives operated the line until 1981 when the line beyond Hadfield was closed and they ripped up the line between Hadfield and Penniston and also the line between Penniston and Sheffield Victoria. However though there is a preserved example at the National Railway Museum in York. At the west end of Guy Bridge Station, you can just see a little spur that branches off to the left here. That is the line towards Denton, that takes you towards Stockport. Now, there was supposed to be a once a day service from Stockport to Staley Bridge. If we get to Staley Bridge to Stockport, then back to Staley Bridge. And I was planning to do that today because I am filming this on a Saturday, but guess what? Norfolk have produced the timetables and they're not running it, which is a shame, really. We just had an hour at Guy Bridge Railway Station. Now, I'm actually here for an hour and 20 minutes because I will be leaving here at half past two on the Rose Hill Marple to Manchester Piccadilly services because they stop at Fairfield and Gorton. The 323s to Hadfield and Glossop don't stop at Fairfield and Gorton. Now, there is a freight train due in a second, so we're going to fill this freight train. And then I'm going on to the other platform to catch this train to Fairfield, which will be my next station I shall be visiting today. Now Guy Bridge Station is just there but it used to have four platforms and this is what I'm going to show you now because where the other two platforms is is where the car park is now. But you can see this bridge here, you can see how long this bridge is here. But I'm going to point up the bridge now because you can still see the two remaining platforms of Guy Bridge Station in this bridge. This is why you gotta do Fairfield Station. There is no stand clear announcement and it's on a curve. But I'm on the outer curve so I can see everything coming from that direction. 
and also I can see anything coming from Guy Bridgeway. As you're on the other platform, you're basically buggered looking for the trains. Unless you've got real time trains, Traxi, or open time trains on you. But this is why I'm doing Guy Bridge on the way back towards Manchester, so I can just open it out a bit so I can see the trains coming in advance. Unfortunately it has started raining again so we are buggered. But anyway, this is Fairfield Station. Northern Trains operated and it has two platforms. To be honest, all the stations we are visiting today are always two platforms. Thanks Cal for the weather update by the way. No problem. Now time for the station history of Fairfield Station. However, we're at the location of the second site of Fairfield Station, opened in 1892 by the Manchester, Sheffield and Lincolnshire Railway, when the Fanfield Loop Line opened. The site of the first station opened in 1841. The station was known as Fairfield for Droyston until the 6th of May 1974, when it was renamed to Fairfield. Fairfield Station used to have six platforms but it was rationalised to two platforms. The Fairfield Loop Line closed to passengers in July 1958 and the three letter station code for Fairfield is FRF. Now, the last time I was at Fairfield Station was in February 2020 because I did a video when I started Manchester Central Station, took the train to St. Wordberg's Road, and then we walked the Fallowfield Loop Line, which actually connected onto the Woodhead Line at Fairfield Station. And that was a very good walk, actually. That will be in the description below if you want to watch that video. But unfortunately, this station, I think, has only got an hourly service, which is the Rosehill Marple Services. But it's still a nice location to fill the trays at here. So Fairfield Station is just right there where I'm pointing at now. But if you carry on this way, that takes you down to the Fairfield Loop Line's walk. Because I came out from here last time. But the reason about it as well is I just found a gate. Now we shall be leaving here shortly to go to Gorton, which will be our last station we're filming on the Woodhead route today. So we are waiting for the 1537. Rose Hill Marple to Manchester Piccadilly service, which will be another class 150 DMU. And then at Gorton, it's the same layout like Fairfield is. You've got to be on the outer platform to fill the trades there. And then after Gorton, we're going back to Manchester Piccadilly. Hopefully, the rain should ease then, but I think the rain's with us now for the rest of the vlog. Anyway, our trade should be coming in now. Take us to Gorton.
are now at the final station we are visiting on the Woodhead route today. This is Gorton Station. It is a Northern Trains operated station and yes, again, two platforms. But unfortunately today it's only got an hour this service as well. Because the Rose Hill Marple services are calling here towards Manchester Piccadilly and Manchester Piccadilly to Rose Hill Marple. So anything that passes within the next hour now, speed through here. Which is interesting really. But again, like I mentioned at Fairfield, You've got to be on the Manchester Bow platform to fill your trains. Now time for the station history of Gorton Station. The first Gorton Station opened on the 23rd of May 1842 by the Sheffield, Ashton Underline and Manchester Railway. The station was recited to its current location on the 25th of August 1906 by the Great Central Railway and was relayed to Gorton and Open Shore. 1st of May 1926 the station was relayed back to Gorton and the three letter station code for Gorton is GTO. As I mentioned at Fairfield Station, I walked the Fanafield Loop Line. Now, when I got to Hyde Road Station in February 2020, they were rebuilding the bridge so they couldn't walk on that part of the line. Might have to do that one day again. But after Hyde Road, the line actually was in a triangle junction, so it branched off one way towards Fairfield and the other way towards Gorton. But we haven't walked Gorton to Hyde Road yet. I might do that one day as well, but we're not too sure. So this is also part of the Fanfield loop line as well where it connected it onto the Woodhead route. My time at Gorton is nearly up. We are waiting for the 1638 service to Manchester Piccadilly from Rose Hill Marple. Also at the same time I just want to mention because we may not get this. At 1638 there is a Hadfield train stopping at Gorton Station. So some of the services to Hadfield and Glossop do stop at Gorton but it's very infrequent. May at the peak times but on the Saturday there is no peak time to be honest. So we've just got a few more trains passing by Gorton Station before we jump on my train back to Manchester Piccadilly. Now are you going to summarise up at Manchester Piccadilly or somewhere else? Just uh, give you a heads up on that. We are now passing Ardwick Station again, which opened in November 1842. But we're now going to depart this train at Manchester Piccadilly to go to platforms 13 and 14 to talk about the visit of the Glossop Line or the former Woodhead route that we travelled on today. Enjoy you back at Manchester Piccadilly now. Now we're going to summarise today's event up from Manchester Piccadilly to Guy Bridge, calling all the four stations we visited at. And to be honest, there was no problems indeed. Everything went fine. 
The only thing that was a problem though was the weather. It was raining at Ashbury, but it stopped. It was alright at Guy Bridge, but then it picked up at Fairfield, and then the rain disappeared at Gorton. So over the weather, which was expected to be honest, it was fine. There was no problems whatsoever. We filled the Transpine Express Diverse, the services towards Wedker Central, and the Newcastle slash Darlington services. So we did get the Transpine Express Nova 1, the Class 802, by multiple unit, which was also interesting to see on that part of the line. Because as I mentioned, Manchester Victoria is shut between Manchester Victoria and Rochdale slash Stady Bridge. So everything else was good. I don't know when the next blog will be, but there will be one uploaded soon. So the only thing I've got to say is now, feel free to like, subscribe, thanks for watching, leave a comment down below, stay safe, and I'll see you for another railway journey pretty soon. From Simon Trade at Manchester Piccadilly Station. Still need to tick high door. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me a second. <sighs> Carol, can you take over? <laughs>